Hey everyone, I am live, live. We are gonna have a really big conversation today about creating your own experience and um, whether you believe you can change your life. And this is such an incredible, timely lesson for me to be teaching right now as I am working on creating a new experience, my new chapter, as well as changing my life. And I am definitely very transparent and open and vulnerable when I share my stories. And it's so that um, I can help other people understand that just because maybe I, I, you know, I've been living a spiritual life. And so have you, some of you for a really long time, some of you, maybe you're new to the spiritual journey, but I've been living this, this kind of spiritual life and work with my guides for such a long time that there's still moments where I can stumble and fall or hit a wall and get curious and wonder what's going on and then get clarity. But the main thing is I'm always in the driver's seat of my life. I'm always in the driver's seat. I've always got my guides in the passenger seat, the most important people. And I am driving in towards my destination. And many of you are feeling disempowered or feeling lost, or you might be feeling like you may be feeling really excited. You may be feeling like, you know what? I'm on the precipice of something really cool. I have this idea. I'm finally ready to move forward with it. And you're ready to hit the gas. And what is keeping you from hitting the gas? That's what we're gonna be talking about. What is keeping you from moving forward in your life? And it's just super important to get consciously clear, <laughs> same thing, of what is keeping you from doing that. So I'm gonna be talking a lot about a lot of these things today and about getting rid of uh, the past and identifying yourself with past and moving into the future. So. We are doing an incredible week long experience and I'm telling you, it's going to change your life. We've done them a few times already and just it catapults people into a new place of thinking and being and living. And if you want to join us to SASS in the comments below, S-A-S-S, -S, we also have a surprise for you. So if you're seriously thinking about it, but you're not sure, put SASS down below and Aaron, who's on my team, is going to contact you with a little bit of an extra initiative, an extra initiative for you. So, but you're not gonna know what that extra initiative is. It's a little bit of a surprise until you put SAS in the comments below. But do that if you're really seriously contemplating joining us. So let me see who's live. I give it a little bit of time. Hi, who's here with me? Hi, Lisa, hi, Lorraine, hi, Sandra, hi, Susan, hi, Angel, hi, Pauline, all my soul stars. All my soul stars. How are you guys doing? How are you guys feeling? How are you guys like just feeling about life right now? So I think we're in a very, very interesting time. The world is starting to open up and we are, I always said this to people and I'm sure you felt the same way. I'd love to know what you think. But as we were in COVID and in lockdown, I remember saying to like close friends of mine, we don't really know how this is affecting us and we're not going to know how it's affecting us until we're through it. We're gonna be like sitting at a dinner table and it may be years from now or a couple of years from now and some youngin at the day table is gonna be like, what was COVID? What was lockdown like? And we're all gonna just sit there and go, <sighs> you remember that? And like, I don't think we realize what we're going through as we've been going through this. Wherever you stand on the fence, whether you believe it, you don't believe in it, you think your freedom's being taken away, whatever the perspectives, the opinions are, you're still being affected by it, period, end of story. And I think a lot of it is about perspective change. And it's really important as the lights get turned on again in this new universal way, in this new way of being, that you're in the driver's seat of your life and you're recognizing that you get to create the life that you desire. But you have to be clear about what that is. A lot of times we're operating from past thoughts or past experiences or even old dreams that no longer resonate with us. And you have to get super clear about what it is today that you want to make happen in your life. So, um, Maria from Toronto, walking the dog. Hello, Maria. Nice to meet you. Sandra says she's in the zone. And Lorraine says, great and excited. I'm dedicated this summer to getting out of my comfort zone and facing some fears. Nice to see you, Lorraine. Happy belated birthday. Um, so let's talk about like what Lorraine brings up here, which she's just, she's ready to get out of her comfort zone and start, I believe it. Yeah. 
and she's ready to face some of her fears. So i um, pretty sure I got that right, Lorraine. Wasn't it your birthday recently? Um, yeah, it was. She said thank you. Okay, so let's talk about that. Let's talk about your intention. Let's talk about, I'm going to talk a bit about this on my podcast this week, but I want to talk to you. For me, dreams, goals, it's really important for what your intention is. So are you clear on what your intention is? Do you know what it is that you want to experience in life? Because the other night, I before I went to bed, I've been praying and asking for certain things. And I woke up and I heard Spirit say, intention is everything. You have to know what your intention is. You have to know what it is you want. It is the initiating factor for all your dreams. It is the thing, the seed that you plant in the ground. It is the thing that you water, that you put sun towards, that you fertilize, you make sure the soil is good. And they said all of those things, the soil, the fertilizer, the water, the sun, those are the choices you make that feed your intention so that it can grow and create the desires that you that you want to come to fruition. So I want you right now to think right now about what your dream is. I want everybody to do this with me. I want to hear from you what your dream is, and then what is the intention underneath the dream? And if you don't know what I mean, let me explain it more. But for those of you just joining, do put in SAS if you're interested in the SAS experience. You're going to find out all about it. And in telling you this is an experience where I'm going to teach you these pillars, the SAS pillars. And when you live with these pillars and you live conscious to these pillars, it changes your life. And the SAS experience is a $97 live experience with me. And you're going to get a little something if you're really interested that Erin's going to contact you and show you what it is. So intention looks like this. Susan, you're in for free. You're an SFA member. <laughs> Independence, looking after myself. This is a great one, Maria. I like this a lot. So this is what I'm talking about. So say you have, like I have a dream to live on a big property. I have a dream to live in a community that is um, kind of what I experienced in New York City, what really good friends and fun and people having your back and people really being loyal and honest and direct, right? So the dream isn't the move, it's the intention underneath it. And the intention underneath it is connection, relationship, healthy relationships, consciousness, being among people that amongst people that I can be really myself with and be loved and seen for who I am. So it's a little like what Maria just shared, which is independence, looking after myself. It's the releasing, it's like living in no fear. It might be what um, Lorraine said, which was uh, no longer having fears and believing in yourself and knowing you're worthy of your life's choice of your dreams. So if you're struggling, see right now it's moving through family trauma, right? And I am too angel through the work that I'm doing. But what I would say to you more, it's not about moving through family trauma. The intention is loving yourself fully and completely seeing yourself, valuing yourself, whatever that family trauma, that belief that you adopted, that's not true. The intention is the opposite. It's the true belief. And intention can shift and change wherever you are in your life. But knock it down a bit into, into a belief system that's going to completely support you in where you are in your life. Mine is connection to relationships, friends, friends conscious friends, um, people that really see me and love me. Um, knowing the value of myself so that I attract in the right people. So the intention is the, the understanding of that relationship as I put that seed in the ground. And then every choice I make is based on that intention. So the fertilizer, somebody asking me to go do something, is that feeding my intention? No. So I'm going to say no. The uh, sun that I'm making sure like there's, it's in the sun so that it could grow. That's the opportunity that someone's offering me. Is that feeding my intention? Yes, I'm going to do that. The water is the, um, the choice between uh, writing a book or doing a podcast, like whatever you're deciding to do, which one feeds that intention? And that's what I do. So do you follow what I'm saying? Is this making sense right now? At this moment, my dream is to live with my husband. The intention underneath is to be in productive space for all parts of my life. Great. 
it allows more of a domino effect because what spirit said to me, like Susan said, love myself, know I'm worthy of love and myself and someone else. That's a great intention, Susan. That's an excellent intention. You've dialed it down. Because can you see in this intention with Susan, every choice she makes in this intention is gonna have a domino effect in her life in every area of her life. So if she's thinking about a career choice, which she is, we're talking about design for her. She was a death doula, she's written a book, she's a pilot. Now she's like, I wanna do design. So if she has this intention, I'm worthy of love, and she's going out looking for design work and she meets a client that is not worthy of her love or is being nasty to her, she's gonna say no and not take it out of desperate desperation because her intention is clear and she's not gonna go down a wrong path because she's making a very clear statement. So this is great, more focus on me and self-love rather than the trauma, exactly. All right, so if you're, I know this is a little more complicated than I normally do on Facebook Lives. Normally I try to fluff it up a little, right? And I try to not go deep down and I'm, I'm trying to give a peripheral vision of what I do. I'm kind of done with that. I want more um, in-depth conversations, right? The, the Facebook Live is the opportunity to get a taste of me so that when you come into the experience, you get to have more of a learning experience so that you could dive deeper into your soul. I wanna dive deep in your soul right now because I feel like we're in a time where I have to continue to dive deep in our souls. And I feel like a lot of people are ignoring their souls. They're at rote, they're, they're, they're like doing things out of habit that aren't serving them. So the first S in the SAS experience is subconscious thinking. And we just started dialing it in. So what is the thought? What is the intention? I want to hear right now from everybody, even if you're struggling with the intention, think of the dream that you have. Maybe your dream is to own a big property. Maybe your dream is to have a baby. Maybe your dream is to find the romantic partner of your life. It could be all of the above, but pick one. Pick one dream and then dial down the intention, which would be the reason why you want to do it. What is it going to give you? What is those connections and relationships going to give me? Ah, oh, they're going to let me be around people that see me and love me and I'm going to be my best self. I'm going to feel connected. What is the thing that's dialing it down? What is the prayer? So that's the first part of this, right? So we have um, Maria says, I don't want to be an obligation. Anyone who comes into my life has to be authentic. That is all I accept. It's a great intention. You're very, very clear about what you're creating. Can you see, Maria, how making choices from this intention will really catapult you into where you need to be and not where you don't want to be? How many of you guys like go on the journey and you, you got your dream and then you like you go down a road and you're like, how the F did I get here? Like, this isn't where I want to be. This isn't what I want to be doing. I'm trying to get you in the driver's seat of your life. And I can even tell by what I'm saying, it's like, this is a little more complicated than I normally speak on my Facebook Lives. I hope that they're following me. So let me know if you're following me. Let me know if you have any questions. Don't be embarrassed at all about that, okay? Because I want to know. So the, my whole point of doing this is because I'm getting clear with myself. And I am getting clear in the sense of, I'm done with this chapter. How many people feel like they're done with the chapter right now? Tell me, give me the yeses, give me the likes, give me the loves. I'm done with this chapter. I don't know what the next chapter is yet, but I'm also not waiting for it to show up. I'm gonna make it happen. So I'm in that driver's seat of my life and I'm not worried about what happened behind me, although it informs me to who I am and I'm ready to move forward and I'm ready to get going. So the thoughts are, I'm worthy, I deserve this, I deserve something better, I deserve to be connected, um, I deserve to be even happier, I deserve to feel freedom, I deserve to feel um, surrounded by love, whatever it is, right? So I'm in the driver's seat, that's my intention, that's where I am, I'm watching my thoughts, I'm putting the destination in the GPS, my guide is sitting next to me, and now I'm going on the journey and I'm aligning with the journey. And the alignment is the choices that you make. Are you making choices today that are in alignment with your intention? Are you making choices today that are in alignment with your intention? Let me know. 
Let's see what people are saying. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, you're perfectly clear. Good. Thank you. Yes. I'm in a new chapter. Good for you. Yes. Okay. So give me right now one choice that you're going to make in the next 24 hours to drive this car towards your destination. And for those of you who are going to join SAS, that's a really great tool for the destination. Trust me. That's a really great tool for the destination. And that's more scripted of a program. So you don't get me like this is right before this live. I was in a meeting right before my meeting. I was in my own EMDR therapy. So it's like in that kind of experience, you're going to get a very programmed out. Tested, tried and tested experience and lessons with homework where you really get to dial this in. It's not all over the place. It's very much subconscious thinking. Here's the lesson. Here's your homework. Go do it. Easy homework. Alignment with your soul. Here's the lesson. Here's your homework. Go do it. Uh, um, soul ignition. Here's your. Here's the lesson. Here's the homework. Go do it. And then synchronicity. Here's the lesson. Homework. Go do it. So during the SAS experience, it's a very methodical, yet we leave room for fun and play and everything. You're going to hear from coaches. You're going to hear from other people. You're going to have an opportunity to get coached and you're going to get through this. And that, and that kind of experience too, it's not a big group. Not that this is a big group of 20 people, 22 people watching live, but I don't know you the way I know you in the SAS experience where I'm going to dive deep with you and help you get through. Okay. So let's see what's the choice you're going to make to move this thing forward. So let me go back to me a second. So my biggest thing was move. Even though I moved here, I knew the minute I moved here that this wasn't going to be, I knew it as soon as I bought the house. I was like, I'm only going to be there for a little while. Right. And it's been a real soul experience. It's been such an experience for me. And it's been a really great, amazing experience. I have no regrets at all. And it's been a real like deep experience for me. And it's really gotten me to get to know myself in a way that I've gotten so intimate with my own soul that I needed this time in order to do that. So now I'm getting preparing for my next chapter and I'm getting more clear. And my guides are like, do a vision book, right? So I'm doing a vision book. I'm getting clear on my destinations. I'm getting clear with my alignment. I'm saying no to things that don't, um, don't speak to me. And I'm saying yes to things that do. And I'm taking action. I'm taking action. So I'm going to listen to you, uh, listen to you right now about what action steps you're taking and use me right now to help you if you're struggling. Like Maria says, finish my first script for my first video to start what I want to do. What date are you going to do that by Maria? What date? Um, I hope you plan. Join us, Deanna. Definitely join us. So my biggest thing right now, so I'm in this information, I'm in this experience, I'm getting clear, I'm visualizing what it is I desire, I'm planting the seed of my intention, and then I'm making choices towards it. And one of the biggest choices that happened to me was in the beginning, I was looking at, I'm going to look at this location, I'm going to look at this location, and I'm really focused on these like three locations. And I'm just going to go there and I'm going to go on a trip there and I'm just going to go check it out and see how I feel. And spirit's like, oh, no, you're not. You're going to go with purpose. So we want you to find a retreat, a yoga thing, a tennis camp. We want you to find something specific that speaks to your soul in that location, Marilyn, and that's how we want you to go. And I was like, oh my goodness, that makes so much sense. Instead of me, because I've gone to, you ever, you ever look for a location to live and you go to the place and you're kind of doing this with your eyes closed, visiting the coffee shop, visiting this peripheral, getting a feel for the place. And they were like, no, you have to go with purpose. Even if all you're doing is scheduling out in your day, I'm going to go to this yoga class. I'm going to go to this event. I'm going to go to this tennis coach. You have to go with purpose to get a feel. That's a choice that I'm making. So that's a choice you want to make. Um, okay. So Elizabeth said, hopefully tomorrow I've already started. Okay. So what is the choice that you're making in the next 24 hours that is taking you closer to your destination? Angels in SAS. She's doing the spiritual work. She did our celebration. I'm so excited you're with us, Angel. 
What is the choice that you're making that's moving you closer to your destination? That's what I want to know. And then um, the next thing is soul ignition. You've got to do it. You've got to do it. You're not allowed to not do it because your soul is not going to light up if you're just thinking about it. Your soul is only going to light up if you do it. And that's when the universe starts answering. That's when the synchronicity happens. That's when you recognize that what you need to do and what you not you don't need to do. So Catherine says, action is doing the work that has been given to me. Swim, bow spring technique. I just got buy materials from Mosaic. Great, great. You got to keep doing it. But what is your ultimate goal with that, Catherine? I'm, I'm curious what your ultimate goal is with that. What is it that you really want to do with it? Where do you want to go with it? What do you want to make happen? Okay. That I want to know too, because I want the destination in the GPS. I don't want, oh, I'm going to try this and see. I don't know if it's going to work. I'm afraid. I'm not sure. I want the destination in the GPS. I want you in the driver's seat. You're not waiting for something to show up. I want actual direction with choices. And then I want to see what happens. So that's what I want. So let me just talk really quick about synchronicity. Synchronicity is super important. I wish I could recall everything that happened in a 24 hour period, which brought me to the, in, the clarity of travel with purpose. And it was many different things that I was guided to do. And unfortunately I'm past the lesson. So sometimes I forget, but basically what it looked like was this wake up on Sunday and have a whole day in front of me that is free. I don't usually do that. I usually have tennis. I have something planned. Oh no, I have a whole day free. All right, I'm just gonna let spirit guide me. So then they say, go to the lake. I walk to the, I go to the lake, I'm walking near the water. I'm like, oh my goodness, I have to live by water. I have to live by water. That is a, that is a, is a no deal breaker. I have to live by water. I find this secret little hiking spot that I'd been to a year ago. And I did, wasn't sure if I'd be able to find it. And, the, and I'm, the dogs are playing in the water and I'm just like hanging out privately. I'm like, this is amazing. This is so good water. I go home and I make some lunch and I connect with a friend. I need connection. My One of my best friends in New York. Okay, so I need connection. So then I um, decide to sit, th then I have, I, I talk with a neighbor because I'm giving her my old iPad and stuff and I have a conversation with her and she's really a lovely, 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 lovely person. But um, there are certain things in the conversation, I'm like, mm, not for me, not for me. So I take a shower to clear it off, but it's all leading me to something. I sit down, I do my vision book and spirits got me in the vision of it while I'm barbecuing. And I'm like, okay, I want this. I want that. I want this. I'm putting the pictures in the book. And then I'm like, all right, I go and I walk the dogs and I get into bed at night. And I have my vision book and I'm still playing with my vision book and I'm listening to Esther Hicks, who I love. I haven't listened to Abraham in a while and I really like them because we have the same belief system. And then I have to go upstairs for something and I go upstairs and I feel like I'm in the vision book. I don't recognize my stairs. I don't recognize my kitchen. I'm catapulted to the future experience. All synchronicity, all making choices, all with intention. I go to sleep and that's what I wake up in the morning with uh, travel with purpose, travel with purpose. And I have to tell you, I was hesitant to travel, but when I heard travel with purpose, I got excited and I started realizing, oh, there's Kripala near Great Barrington where I'm interested in looking at, oh, Asheville has got this other spiritual place. Oh, this is amazing. And then um, Seattle's got this great tennis thing travel purpose, but none of that would have been clear to me had I not followed the SAS technique. I have not followed, there's a destination, the intentions planted and I'm making choices. So tell me right now, how can I help you? How can I support you? And does this make sense? Because I feel like I'm speaking very, in a way that I don't normally speak and I wanna make sure that I'm connecting with each and every one of you and guiding you to your destination. 
So if there's something I'm saying like, no, Marilyn, you're not making sense to me at all. Totally fine. Tell me why. Or if you have a question about your own process or what you can do, tell me, ask me right now. Let me help you to do right now. And um, Deanna, this, for some reason, I don't know why this keeps coming up. This is not true. Don't do that. Type SAS if you're interested, okay? And I would say right now, if you're interested, type SAS because you're gonna get something special, but it's gonna be sent to you privately and you're gonna like what it is. So I know that you're interested in joining Deanna and I love that you have a sister named Marilyn is technically while I listen. So Maria, accountability is huge. I would definitely say come into the SAS experience. I, you, you can have accountability. This is my experience, okay? So I don't do free Facebook groups. I do my business page. I'm on it when I'm usually getting ready to do something. So I give a lot of free information. Then we gear up to sell you something. It's all true, transparency. And then you come and join me into a paid experience because I don't do free Facebook groups. The reason why I don't do free Facebook groups anymore is that I don't feel if people don't have the skin in the game, they're not participating. And I got really tired of showing up to a group of people with my all like ready and people didn't have skin in the game. And I want you to have results no matter what. So I was like, I'm done. This is an empty experience for me. I'm not doing this. You need to come with skin in the game because I want you to have results because I sit there and think about you people. I hold you in my intention. I hold you in my energy. My coaches do that because we put coaches in the group that have been through my programs. We're not there to just sell you something. We're there for you to learn. So accountability is a great thing. Um, if you can do it, Maria, to come into the SaaS experience. But the main thing I'm going to tell you, I have not been able to see accountability in free programs. Now, there's not there's a couple of free groups out there that I'm sure are great. But for me personally, I have a business coach. I have a writing coach. I'm writing my second podcast right now. And it's a scripted show that I've been sitting on for over 10 years years. And I made a promise on a Facebook live actually. Oh no, it was on a soul session. I, I teach channeling and I teach soul sessions and we're going to do that. I believe, yeah, we're doing the soul session in the SAS experience. So you're going to get an opportunity to experience a channeling experience. So I do a soul session. I did a soul session. I was participating and I made a commitment to myself that I was going to start writing this podcast by March and March came and I was like, okay, I got to find a writing coach. That's it. I committed accountability. And then I asked a couple of writing friends for some writing coaches. I got a list of names and I was like, it's this one, Bruce Gelfand. That's why I hired. I said his name and he's been phenomenal for me. Accountability, but I pay him and it's accountable because what I have skin in the game, he shows up, I show up and we're exchanging value and he's phenomenal. It's been amazing for me. It's, it's, he's like another therapist for me, in my opinion. Um, so I would love for you to come join. I have said no before to SAS and I want to hear about it again. Great. Maria, just put the word SAS in. We're not pushy sellers. You know, so interesting where I was on my mastermind group today and it's only, you're going to get a, a little secret surprise today. If you put SAS in, I'm not going to tell you what it is. You have to put it in. I was on my mastermind group today and we were talking about, and I can't remember the exact term. It was from one of my peers, but we don't want to convince anybody to buy anything. We're not interested in that. We want people, we want to tell you about it and how great we think the program is, but you have to come to it on your own because it's no fun dragging anybody through anything. And I'm not interested in it, but you would really, really love it, sweetie. I know you would. Hi, Camille. Camille went through SFA. Okay, so let me see where you guys are struggling. Good, Maria. I look forward to seeing you. So those of you who are joining, put in SAS. We have a little something private for you if you want to join this experience. Let me just tell you about the experience real quick, and then I'm going to go to your questions. Any questions, any coaching you need right now, let me know, and let me help you. So what we do in this experience, it's a live experience. Whether you can be there on the live or not does not matter, because I do something in the beginning where I say, okay, make sure you put it in your calendar. This is when we're live. People have not been able to make, some people haven't been able to make the live, but they're still participating. The page is so active, the Facebook group, that when you're, whether you make the live or not, we do a homework post and you watch the live. We teach you how to watch it on fast speed. So you can watch it like that. I do the lesson in the first 20 minutes. So you don't have to watch the hour video, but I'm there to coach and answer questions too. So the first 20 minutes is the uh, lesson, the specific lesson. Then you get the homework. 
then the homework post goes up you go 24 hours we want action right away so you take an action step in 24 hours and people have changes like crazy changes then you come back and you post on the homework post and everybody's posting so the page i don't care if you're in you're 20 hours ahead of me you don't feel alone you don't feel isolated you don't feel like you're going through it alone the homework post and then we pick someone from the homework post and we send them a little something so one person from the homework post gets a little, little gift from us we just want you to participate so we have our little tricks then we do a panel discussion with some of the people who've been through soul finder academy which is a bigger program and they teach you something and they think it's really good to learn from other people not just me because it's other perspectives and then we do a soul session we do coaching sessions so it's a really really great experience so go check that out all right let's see the comments um sass is a great experience juliana you're going to be in it because you joined membership which is so good okay so tell me right now while you've got me here what is your number one struggle with getting your life off the ground what is the number one struggle with getting your life off the ground right now let me know um yeah angel so she said it makes sense to me could you give me an idea on which direction to focus on please you're dealing with things that are weighing you down like you said family trauma and stuff like that but when you rewrote it i asked you to rewrite it and you said um so you're you're in a healing process right now the thing about a healing process is you want to be in an active healing if you can so like I'm, I'm in a big healing right now, right? I did a session with my therapist right both two hours before this. It was a big moment. And I went out for a walk with the dogs, right? But I don't let my experience stop me from moving forward. So you know that connecting with nature and working on your growth is really, really good for you. But you also, I believe you want, your, you want to do readings and stuff, right? Um, so what I would say to you is start talking. What, tell me what you want to do so I can help you find your path with this knowledge. So if you wanted to do readings, I would say get out and practice readings. Um, th that's what we do in membership. Like people practice readings, they join together, they do practice reading circles. If you, I, I don't know what you want to do. So I need to know what you want to do. I can't help you here unless I know practice readings. Okay. So you don't want to wait until you're healed to do that. As long as you know, not to project on the person, your own personal stuff. I don't project in my readings, anything that I'm going through. I have a way of moving myself completely away from it. So there's many Facebook groups that you can go into. And so just start talking about it. Hey, I'm going to do some uh, practicing, some free readings, and I want to help you find your path. Um, I'm taking the first five people. Whenever we used to do this in membership, like free free readings for people, oh my goodness, they'd book up like that in a second. We haven't done it in a while because we shifted the way we do things. So instead they do reading circles. So you have people, you have friends. You can go, if, if a Facebook group allows you to do that, you can go into a Facebook group and just post that. And then you have to get past your fear of doing it, but you're not gonna get past your fear of doing it without doing it. So if this is really what you want to do, I suggest you do it. That's what I suggest you do. My alone time at home, staying focused at home and procrastination. Procrastination is a bigger issue, Maria. It's probably coming from a lack of self um, confidence. Um, maybe you've been through a lot of stuff and you're like, well, what's going to, why is it going to be different now? Is it really going to happen for me now? I'm not going to put all this effort in and it's not going to come true. Whatever it may be, there's a story in there. The first S of uh, subconscious thinking, what's the story in there that is keeping you in procrastination? We have to address that first, okay? Now, the way that I address subconscious thinking when it's getting in my way, so let's talk about, I'm not gonna talk about my move, we'll talk about the second podcast. So I'm doing a podcast about a spirit I came upon that was murdered. I have to keep track of time because I have to go someplace after this. So I'm, fearful of telling the story a bit because I'm going to name, I may name the murderer, the actual murderer. I'm going to be putting myself out there telling people that I've talked to this famous Hollywood ghost and there, I'm going to get feedback right from it that people aren't going to like it. They're going to be, you know, upset. There's going to be other people that love it. I'm, it's a really vulnerable experience for me. Plus I have a couple of people in my family that don't believe in what I do. I've gotten past that. Don't care about them anymore. They're not going to stop me. 
So the subconscious thinking for me was, well, I'm a little afraid to put this story out there. I'm really a little afraid to put myself out there like this. So what did I do? Spirit's like, you're going to be afraid anyway. But this story is bubbling up inside of you and it's been inside for 10 years. You don't want to die with this story in you. This is a magical story that's going to move so many people. So I hired a writing coach, made me accountable. I started addressing the story with him. Then the procrastination goes away because you know what? You start diving in. Bruce is so wonderful. Like, I'll, I'll, And my writing needs work. And he started editing last week. We've been through like five sessions. He's like, okay, you're going from different tense. I tend to use different tenses, past and present. And he's like, I want you to write this in present tense. And I'm like, okay, good. This is what I want. Not only, but he dives into the story with me and gets me excited. That's why I personally don't do things alone. I, I, if you have the finances, I hire people, you know, if you can't do that, then you find people that really put out quality stuff and really want to help you. And I hope that you see me as one of those people. Yeah. I'm not lying to you. I have two programs that are going to kick your ass and teach you stuff. They're going to be amazing for you. But, and I know there's people on here that know this about me. Um, I want to still help people period. The, the only time Marie, I used to get annoyed which is why I don't do it. I never cared if I got a message in my message box here, messenger. I remember one woman writing me and she said, I can't purchase your program. I'm living out of my car, but I want you to know that both, uh, I'll never forget that she said, both John Burgos and you, I've listened to both of you religiously and I just got a job. I was thrilled. I didn't care that she couldn't buy my program. She was doing the work. That makes me happy. It's the people that don't do the work and keep complaining. I have no, no time for. I don't have any time for you. I don't mind if you're struggling, but you have to do the work. And if you're not doing the work, and I'm not saying you're not doing this, Maria. I'm using you as a teaching tool right now. So what do you need to do to get past the procrastination? That's my question. What's the belief that's holding you down? You've got to get clear about that. Okay, let me see who else. And then for those of you just joining, remember SAS, SAS, SAS. I'm telling you, you're going to love it. You're going to love it. I've never, everybody who's gone through it has been like, holy mackerel. And, and I have a pretty honest audience. So I think if we, because we ask for feedback, I'm sure if they didn't like it. Um, okay. Gentry. So she says, I'm working on finding a balance to post lives on my Facebook business page that does not overwhelm me, but engages people still. Erg, sometimes I struggle. So maybe, have you tried Instagram? I'm finding Instagram, I'm starting to get active on Instagram. I'm really starting to love Instagram, Gentry. I'm Maybe Facebook isn't your mode anymore. Maybe you have to change mediums. You have to ask yourself that. And then you also have to ask yourself, what is the thought before you do it? So for me, so I have Erin helps me out with my social media now, but it's me on my social media. She may post something, but we're in discussion about it, right? I don't have a company. Erin's on my team. We work together. And um, whenever my team asks me, can we do posts for the next 90 days? I'm like, no, I work so off the cuff. And I know that could be frustrating sometimes. And they, they give me a map and I'm like, I could try to follow that map. But yesterday I did a live on my Instagram about people unsolicited readings. Like I can't plan that 90 days in advance. Somebody was doing an unsolicited reading on me and I'm like, you have no fucking permission to do that. Oops. Try not to curse on these things because then we can't boost them. So ask yourself what's going on. You're, you're probably upset because you're not getting the engagement or people aren't acknowledging it. I don't really care if like on Instagram, If on Instagram, like three people say, oh, nobody says anything, I don't really care. I'm doing it because I want to do it. What's the motivation behind it? Get clear about that motivation. And if you think it's not going to go anywhere, then guess what? It's not going to go anywhere. So that that's, I know Gentry very well, so I can kick her in the butt. Uh, creating a lot too much and not laser focused at the moment. You have to get laser focused. Lowest hanging fruit. Nothing's going to move forward if you don't get laser focused, Camille. I'm laser focused. Laser focus. Remember the stove method that I've taught. Um, so you have to get focused. Uh, it's healing illness. I'm in therapy with trauma therapists to address bioenergetics, but also needs to get physical, engaged, and creative activity. Have started those, but fear is it too late? 
So the fear, whether it's too late, Catherine, is a subconscious thought that you need to shift out of. And it's never too late because you're going to be, I don't know how old you are. Say you're 65 or 55. You're going to be 56. You're going to be 57. You're going to be 58. Let me take it from a 55 year old. I remember thinking I was old at 45. I'd go back there in an instant right now. I remember thinking I was old at 35. I remember thinking I was old at, what was it, 30 years old when I was a lead in a play and the agent came to me and she said, don't tell any, tell, don't tell people that you haven't been acting since you were a kid or like, it was like such a shame that I was like 30 years old when I started because I had a career beforehand in TV. Like what? And I bought that bull. I bought that it was too old. I was too old. So then that started, like I was booking jobs right away. And then I had an agent, I can't remember the exact word she said to me. She came to see me. She's like, you're really good. But you know, you're like, I think I was like 30 or 32. You're 32. People are going to wonder where you've been. Well, I want a friggin' Emmy in production. That's where I was, bitch. So I that went into my head and I'm like, I'm too old. I'm too old. And I came out to Hollywood and they're like, you're too old. I'm like, I'm too old. It's bull. People will label you. It's not true. So you're the one who has to say it's never too late. You're the one who has to say, okay, I'm dealing with some healing issues but this isn't going to stop me. Your dream has to be more important and then you have to motivate towards it. Let me know if that helps, Catherine, okay? Juliana, uh, where is she? I'm a cardomancy reader, Reiki and Karuna master. I am butchering that, forgive me, honey, and crystals therapist. And I'm slowly picking up with your teachings. Thank you. So I love this. I don't know what a cardomancy reader is. Um, I'll have to look that up or you can tell me. Um, and this is great. So the thing that I find with a lot of people that want to do readings or they want to do coaching, they're afraid because they're too old. There's somebody better out there than them. Nobody can be better than you because nobody has your life experiences. Nobody's going to deliver the information the way you're going to deliver it. So there's all this bull that we tell ourselves. And you have to stop that. I was in, so I was in my mastermind meeting today and I'm not going to get into specifics, but people are doing really incredibly well. Like one woman shared something, unbelievable. like three people in a row shared something amazing. And I'm sitting there having a bad day because something happened in business, which I am going to get into the story because I'm going to rant about this woman, but not right now. And uh, so I was sharing from that place. I'm like, I'm having a really emotional moment in my business because uh, I, I just got gobsmacked by something. But I don't sit there in comparison to all of them. Instead, I sit there and I listen to their genius. And I'm like, hmm, I like that. And what I said to my coach is I'm building a new brand. I'm building a new business. I'm changing my, my direction a bit, you know, with the, the writing and the creating and all of that. You've got to be in love with yourself and how you do things. And you've got to work from that place. And it's not, it's, I swear to you, it's not ego. Like ego isn't a bad thing, but I'm not coming from the place of I'm better than you. I, I don't really care what you do. You're good at what you do. I'm good at what I do. That's not ego. Um, yes, you're going to be afraid anyway. Exactly. Good Camille. Um, yes. So join SAS. If this is resonating with you, imagine, I think the journey, Tuesday, It's eight live days. There's a day and I take Sundays off. Imagine doing this intensely focused for eight days. What kind of changes you're going to see. So put in the SAS experience and uh, you will join us. Come join us. Okay, let's see who else. Yes, I, I like Instagram. I'm enjoying it. Mm, I love cursing. Yeah, but you can't. So we'd like to try to boost the videos after, especially if we want to invite people into something. And I can't curse then. Um, yes, I agree. Okay. Uh, 65, I get it. Yeah. Catherine, you can't let that stop you. You can't. You're going to be 75 and you're going to be like, why didn't I do it at 65? Trust me. You know this. You're, you're 10 years older than me. I was thinking about 45. I'm like, why didn't I do it at 45? Why didn't I do it at 35? You know, I'm done with that friggin' story. Um, card reader. Okay, great. Okay, good, 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 sweetie. Uh, que pasa? Um, 
Well, here's the thing, Gentry. You do have a full-time life, but you're building a dream. So you once shared with me, and I'm going to call you out on something, how you were spending your time. You have time in your day to do social media posts because you could do social media posts for five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, and then go on. So I guarantee I'm not going to let this excuse happen, sweetie. You can find time in your day. We're all busy. I have like an hour at night, which is just for me. Sometimes it's only 45 minutes, right? Okay, I work for myself, so already I built it. But when I wasn't working for myself and I was bookkeeping, I still made time for it. You can make time for these things. If you really want it, you can make time for it. So I'm not going to allow that. Uh, okay. Okay, great. All right, guys. So join the SaaS experience. You're not going to regret it. You're going to have a great time. Let me just summarize right now everything that we're talking about because I want to summarize this with all of you so that you walk away with a clear understanding of everything I said. So the SaaS experience are the five pillars. Uh, let me try this again. The SaaS experience are the four pillars that were given to me from my guides to live my dream, to really live aligned with my soul and to constantly be in consciousness, which is the subconscious thinking, the first S, aligned with my soul, which is the A, um, igniting my soul, doing things that I love to do, not things that I don't want to do, and then being in the synchronicity of the universe. So what that looks like is knowing my dream, not denying it to myself, even if I have fear, even if I believe I can't do it, it's knowing my dream. And then it's planting that seed, the intention of my dream down the core intention of my dream, planting it. And then any subconscious thoughts that come in around it, being aware of them, but not allowing them to put the brakes on, not allowing it to stop me. So all the subconscious thinking in this pillar is the part of putting the dream in the forefront, noticing the thoughts that want to battle it and fight it, but not allowing the thoughts to really kill it. Instead, okay, I see you, thought that wants to not allow it, but this is my dream and you're no longer going to do it. So the dream is going to do that and it's going to overtake those negative thoughts and it's going to make it happen. So that's the subconscious thinking, which is super powerful. It's also super powerful for synchronicity because many of you miss the synchronistic moments because you're not conscious. You're not conscious as the messages or turn right, go here, go there. Oh, this just happened. So that's the first S, super important, super strong. The A, alignment with your soul, is remembering who you are, remembering why you're here, remembering why you want to do what you want to do. It's the thing that keeps bringing you home. So when something jaggered happens in your day or something difficult happens in your day, you don't look at it as something keeping you from your dream. You look at it as an opportunity to continue to align to your dream, align with your soul to come back home. So alignment is super important because that allows you to walk in your light. It allows you to walk on the journey aligned. So when somebody invites you to do something, you're like, hmm, that's not really aligned with me. I'm not going to do that. Um, when an opportunity comes, oh, that opportunity sounds great. I think, I, oh, but it's not aligned. It's not aligned. So it gets you very, very clear. And you make choices that propel you forward instead of keeping you stuck. Then the next one is soul ignition, where I see a lot of people have turned out their light. Soul ignition is powerful because it's the things that give us joy. And the things that give us joy are the things we're meant to be doing for a living. There is no mistake around that. You may not know how you can make a living doing the things you love, or you may not understand that you love walking in nature and you can't see how you could possibly make a living walking in nature, but walking in nature allows you to expand and grow to get the intuitive hits of what you're meant to do, to get the creative thinking on, to really ignite the light in your soul. And when you're igniting the light in your soul, the synchronicity happens. The universe knows what to bring you. And there's no mistake. You don't miss it because you're like, oh, here's one of those moments. Even if it's a moment that's uncomfortable, here's one of those moments. Oh, oh, this is a moment that's making me feel small. No, I'm not going to allow that to happen. Back in subconscious thinking. Uh, 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 not allowing that. I'm going to remember who I am back in alignment. 
oh, I'm going to do something fun right now to help lift my spirits, soul ignition. Oh, now we're in a new synchronistic moment. You see how that works? So come join me in the SAS experience because I really want to teach you and I want to help propel you into your destiny. All right, everyone. Thank you so much. I look forward to seeing you in the SAS experience. And I'm going to sign off because I have to run and go someplace. So much love to all of you. Thank you. Have a great day or night whenever you're watching this. Bye.